Bug Catching Contest is held on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Not only do you earn a prize for participating, but you also get to keep the last bug Pokemon you caught. Yep. So that's what I was trying to... I was mentioning last time. Welcome back, everybody, to Pokemon Heart Gold. Oh, hold on. I, I just realized a thing. I used this to kind of... <laughs> Sorry. I, th I was using a... More or less a, a way to tell exactly um, where everything was. And there we go. There, just push the cursor up there. All right. It's fun having a Pokemon and, and walk out of its poke eh, out of its Pokeball and walk with it. But the Pokewalker is a whole new dimension. My mom can't take my Pokemon and. Eh, my mom can't take my Pokemon and tells me not to play with it indoors. But hey, I can keep it in my Pokewalker that way. Hey, I'm always with it. That is true. Uh, when the game originally came out, it came out in a bigger box than normal DS games, and it had a Pokewalker with it. Um, I barely used it, honestly. <laughs> but it was a, a feature of it. Pay attention, please. Oh, so I have to stop thinking like a teacher all the time. You must be a Pokemon trainer. Since you're working so hard, I want you to have this. We got the Quick Claw. Let a Pokemon hold that Quick Claw. Sometimes it'll strike first during battle. Very good for slow Pokemon. So, um, honestly, we need faster Pokemon, <laughs> to be completely honest. Oh no, it's high, uh, higher defense with lower special attack. My bad. I thought he had lower speed. Uh, I was thinking of Chia Dino, actually. Chia has very low speed. Oh gosh, so does Lola. Um, Volti has very low. Honestly, you don't need the Shell Bell anymore. Let's give you the Quick Claw. All right, let's swap those two out. I'm not gonna worry about the shell bow. I take walks to the park, but I never go into the grass. Trainers always want to battle. Okay. Well, if you want to battle, you can definitely do that. Um, probably more or less, I'll do some of the the, the battles off screen. I won't fight everybody because that just takes quite a bit. Huff puff, huff puff. I'm out of breath. I've been trying to charge the Pokewalker. Yep. It was basically a pedometer that you would wear on your person. Anyway, count your steps. Ooh, the Soothe Bell. That's very helpful for a Pokemon that we're going to add to our party. Um, but a, what it would do is uh, it would count your steps until you... Uh, with the Pokemon that you had and it's almost like you were taking those steps in game with that Pokemon so whenever you brought the Pokemon back uh, you would have those like steps of happiness and whatnot uh, with that Pokemon but also uh, we picked up Dig which is a good TM I don't know if anyone can actually use it I do would assume so, but I don't know which ones. Mercules Lola can learn dig? Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll have to think about that. Um, Alright, I'll just keep going. Now, we got an apricorn tree here. We get a blue apricorn. Yes? Let me guess what you're thinking. Um, I'll give you three guesses and the first two don't count.
and what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna win. <laughs> And Mercules for the win. That's the other one. That's the other thing I'm thinking. Because, goodness, this man. Oh, he's going to brick break things. We're definitely taking off Fury Attack. <laughs> All right. We do not need Fury Attack. Brick Break is the, the deal here. And now that he has fighting moves, he's going to be unstoppable. not quite karate, but yeah. he does the karate chop with Brick Break. It's enough to break. Hey, the cool thing about Brick Break is that if they have reflector light screen up, uh, Brick Break just breaks those completely, and it's neutralized. So Very useful. I've never actually had to deal with it, because <laughs> not many people actually r use that as a, an ability, but even if you're not, you're still getting a ton of damage. Hello? Oh, hi, Ethan. How are you? I found a useful item while shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry! I asked the, the delivery man to take it to you, so stop by the nearest Pokemon or department store to pick it up. Oh, yeah. Mom bought something else. <laughs> Mom bought all the things. Hi! That's quite a place. I could probably prepare for any Pokemon adversary. Well, good for you. Slow clamp. Kid Al- uh, School Kid Allen? Uh, it's a Tangela. Alright, well... Have... Aerial Ace. Uh, didn't do a... Didn't do as much as I thought I was going to. That's unfortunate. And that's also not good. Mercules is poison. That's definitely not good. All right, Merc, take care of it, please. Thank you very much. Um. Huh? Was my prediction incorrect? Yes, it was. Actually, I'm I'm trying to think. Uh, when I was reading textbooks and walking, I happened to look down, so I noticed things on the ground. If I found something, I'll give it to you. Sure. I'm always fine with free stuff. I'll call you as soon as I find something. Okay. As long as it's not coming from the government, I'm completely fine with free stuff. <laughs> well, it's not actually... F hmm. Uh... That must be because... Sorry. I was getting a message about my internet being restored, and I'm like, well, why would you do that? Oh, because... Power went down. <laughs> There's a nod tree. Use the squirt bottle? Yep. The odd tree doesn't like the squirt bottle. The odd tree attacked! Yeah, so the tree that everyone's been all up and fussing about is a pseudo wudo. Despite it looking like a tree, it is not a grass-type Pokemon. Uh, it is actually a rock-type. Uh, but don't let its weirdness fool you. It actually can hit like a truck. Uh, <laughs> Mimic is one of its abilities. Uh, but Rock Throw can do quite a bit of damage. Um, as you can tell, it, almost, it, it did about a little more than half of uh, Lola's health there. Low Kick's not going to defeat Lola, but we're going to use Yawn here. Get Suda Wudo a little bit sleepy. And we'll have... Uh, He's more physically defensive. We'll have Mercules come back out. Low kick. Doesn't do much of anything. And he's asleep. While he's asleep, we're gonna headbutt him. 
We're not gonna... Oh gosh, that really didn't do a lot of damage. I might have to brick break a fool. I'm not gonna sweat it if we can't catch him, but I'm gonna try to. <laughs> I was saying... <laughs> You know, I know it was going to be super effective, but golly, the damage difference there. <laughs> uh, never mind. Yay, Lola. You learn confusion. Oh, me. I think there might be one other pseudo wudo, but eh. That was fun! I want to give you this for entertaining me. I don't know why you thought that was entertaining when... <laughs> it's like Pokemon just wrecked house. With berry pots, you can grow berries from any region with no worries. That's right, I'll give you some berries too. Berry pots won't do any good without any berries. Oh, she gave us some more berries, so I didn't have to worry about too much about getting one. Uh, patch of berries, so then it helps poison. Now you have to plant ber berries in the soil. You should water them from time to time, and they'll grow stronger. I have to go to Goldenrod. Are you looking for a critique? Then you should head north of here. See you around. All right. Well, I'm going to, first off, register this so I don't forget that I have a thing. Uh, we're going to plant our orin berries. We need a lot of them. And so, to get this to work, um, I forget how many berries you actually need, uh, but I, I'll, I'll just worry about getting as many as I can, because if I'm able to do that, then I... Uh, I don't have to worry about... If I have more than enough, then it, I don't need to worry about having to worry about it later. So, there's that. Alright, so... If you head back this way, instead of heading north, uh, this is the first town. Uh, well, the first gym town, Violet City. So, we can actually heal, which is where I'm going. Because uh, there's some trainers on the next route, and I'd rather not have to deal with that with Pokemon with lower health. Also, Mercules is a wrecking ball that just does not care about anyone's sass. He just destroys everything. <laughs> Alright, well, that being said... Uh, we also can go grab the stuff that Mom has bought. Let's see what she bought. Good morning, Ethan, isn't it? I have a package for you from your mom. Here you go. Charty berries. Look forward to your next visit. And what, what else? A rappel. Thanks, Mom. Okay. No further packages. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Um, Charty Berries. Ooh, I don't know what they do. Ah, weakens rock super effectiveness, which would not be a bad idea. Um, I say that, but I'm trying to think of Pokemon that we would need to use it with. Well, regardless, I come down here, we can find ourselves a Hyper Potion, which is even just good on top of good. All right. Um, if we head this way, Pokemon can't do a thing if they're asleep. I'll show you how scary that is. All right, Greg. It's drillsy. And you're gonna get a headbutt. Not 
not the best, but that did do pretty good. Mercules got rid of the drowsy. He lost. That's pretty sad. Yeah. All right. You can get some more apricorns. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Red apricorn. Um. I might at some point off screen while I'm doing berry stuff. I'll do some more of the apricorn tree stuff. Well, apricorn. And, and go to Kurt. Uh, and get some more uh, like special Pokeballs. Alright. Two of you... I'm trying to think of what you have. I don't remember. Let's battle! Alright, I'm bringing out a Pokemon. Alright, we have to battle twins! Tori and Tell. That's a weird name. I, I would question your parents' life decisions if they named you Tell, but... Alright. We'll brick break the Mareep, and we'll thunder the Meryl. <laughs> One might be overkill. Just, just a little bit. Alright. Uh, Volti. Probably not even expected. Thunder, and then just eviscerate the, the Meryl. It's just, just, it's crazy, man. I lost! I lost! Yes, you did. Even though Tori tried very hard for me, we still lost. Even though I teamed up with Till, we still lost. Alright. Now, this is something that didn't start until Emerald, but if two people are in your... You're in two people's line of sight, you have to battle both of them. Hey there, tree, you young trainer. Won't you battle with me? I, I, I guess. All right. You have to do a double battle with Callie and Cassandra, and they have Clefable and Wigglytuff. And then it's Wigglytuff and Clefable that they have respectively. Uh, definitely want to take... Well, actually... Yeah, you want to take out the Wigglytuff first. Uh, the Clefable, not really necessary to take out in one turn, but Wigglytuff just gets annoying. Also can sing. Just all around bad. <laughs> Volti doesn't have to worry too much. The Growl might be a little bit annoying. Hopefully it won't get too bad. Oh no, Volti! That's not good. Uh, typically what I do in double battles that are like this, I tend to target one side, per se. Uh, like with this one, I'm probably gonna get... Yeah, Clefable's down. I, Mercules has no chill. Um, but since we've defeated one trainer, the other trainer is by herself, and you can double team her. Also, that's what you get for slapping Volti. <laughs> How dare you slap a sheep? Uh, boy. All right. Uh, sure, why not? I don't think that's gonna matter. There we go. Clefable down. It does look like Volti is just like, hey, this is my bro, <laughs> Mercules. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we're gonna brick break of Wigglytuff, and we're also going to thunder a Wigglytuff. One of the two will actually hit in one shot the Wigglytuff. The other won't ever need to be used. <laughs> uh, you're good. Wow, you're strong. Well, we got a good bit of money out of it, though. 
I wonder what your future holds. I've learned something. There's some people like you out there who are very skilled, even though they're young. Thanks. I don't know if that's condescension or not, but you know what? We're just gonna roll with it. Well, hello there. Hi, I'm Bill. Ed, who are you? Hmm, Ethan, huh? You know what? I'm the one who developed the system to transfer Pokemon. But it couldn't have been done by me alone. For example, you know the Hoenn region? Uh, yeah, I do. This girl, Lynette from Hoenn, made the Pokemon storage system easier to use. My friends all over the world are working together to improve the Pokemon trade and storage systems. I have to hurry back to Goldenrod to see my folks. Bye bye all right well we're gonna talk to bill that, that's a cue to go back to goldenrod and we met his mom in the last one so uh what you want to do uh when you get there is make sure you have uh, a pokemon uh, a, a slot open so uh, what we're gonna do here uh, bill's pc we'll move some pokemon and as you can see we do have Oh, he has a great ball. You mind if I take that? <laughs> um, that was one of the Pokemon that fell out of a tree. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it was just a matter of actually getting all the different Pokemon that's out there. Um, we have that, and we're going to. Oh, well, it's fine. I, I, I'm, I don't need to exchange anything until uh, Goldenrod, so we're fine. Okay, yeah, that heads over there. I want to head over this way. Now, if you head down this route, you notice that there's a tree here. Well, we got Scaltrit. Scaltrit can cut it. Um, also, here's another use for cut. Oh, in, no, you can't use that. Huh. I know in... Di uh, maybe it was just an older version? Up through Gen 3, I guess? Um, if you use cut in the field, other than cutting trees down... You can cut grass within uh, the square you're in and the nine squares around you. Well, the eight squares around you. So uh, a three by three grid, as you were. As you will. Uh, but uh, you could essentially do that to avoid any Pokemon battles if you just wanted to avoid it. It's a little tedious, but you could do it. That way you don't have to buy repels. But it only works in grass. It does not work in caves. Caves uh, do, does not care. <laughs> it does not care about what you would like to do. All right. Let, let's put up... Oh, boy. Who do we put up? Now... I'm going to put you up. Put you down here. I don't know if um, I'm going to continue using Kuhoot. I eventually switched Kuhoot out uh, for a different Pokemon later in the other version I, in the streams. I might do that here. Hey Ethan, would you like a would you like to do something for me and take this Eevee? It came over when I was adjusting the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Someone has to take care of it, but I don't like being outside. Can I count you count on you to play with it, Ethan? Yeah. I knew you'd come through. You're the real deal. Way to go. I'm okay, I'm counting on you. Take good care of it. Alright. Now I don't know what nickname I'm gonna give it yet. Uh, Professor Elm said Eevee can evolve into seven different kinds of Pokemon. 
Now, this is going to be the first, well, technically the second, but on YouTube, as far as like an official LP that I do, this is going to be the first time I use an evolution. All right. We're going to give an Eevee the uh, bell, uh, the soothe bell here. That'll help its friendliness. We're going for one for one of the friendliness evolutions. Oh, you have higher speed. You have hasty. Loves to eat, so you also get, I believe it's more HP doing that. Uh... Hmm. Well, that's hard. <laughs> In the streams, I got an Umbreon. And an Umbreon did so good. The question is... Do I do Umbreon in this playthrough? I guess if I'm going to keep it continuity-wise the same, I should. Um, uh, I'll think about it. Like I said, I'm going to be spending a lot of time with Eevee and trying to upgrade his friendliness um it is a he right yeah we got a dude with us so um what i'll probably do is i off screen while i'm doing everything else i'll be kind of leveling eevee and increasing its friendliness in any way i can by kind of running around with him uh not it, probably not getting into too many fights. Um, because I don't want him to level up off screen and then evolve. I uh, he did that in the streams, he did evolve off stream because uh, I was trying to level up his friendliness and he just happened to evolve. So, I, it's a thing. Uh, I do, hmm, I do wonder, because if I do evolve him into his day form, uh, Espeon, which first off is my favorite Pokemon, uh, but uh, also Stantler. What the heck, bro? And you get a and you get an evolution finally, and it's 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 called Weird Deer. <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> what am I looking at? Uh, all right. Well, Mercules is definitely leveled uh, quite a bit. It's, I say that we've run into another Stantler. Um, yeah, I'm looking at the time and we're almost at 30 minutes. Um, I'll probably do one more thing. There's one more thing I do want to do, and we'll probably do that. And, yeah, that's going to be in here, though. And here, hey, hey, stop dancing such serious dances. Show me something like a hula dance. You mustn't push such a request upon me. Huh? Are you telling me you don't respect what the customer wants? Hey, well, then I'll show you how to dance. I'll show you a great one. <laughs> well, in the remakes, uh, you you, you kind of deal with the kimono girls uh, throughout the game. Uh, in the original, there are five here, and you battle each and every one of them, and uh, they have an evolution. 
And once you beat all five of them, you get uh, one of the... Uh, you get uh, what you would get for doing this little quest here. Oh, ouch. The stomach. I wouldn't let this guy act like that if it weren't for this pain. What's the deal with that Team Rocket grunt messing with my kimono girl? You're a trainer, aren't you? Please help her. That, she's not yours. <laughs> to do such a terrible thing to a kimono girl. I don't understand how young people behave these days. Well, not everyone does. Eh, well, not everyone does that. She says nothing. Huh? Who are you? You dare get in my way? Yes. I will always get in your way, Team Rocket. Team Rocket Grunt? You have coffee. Well, that's just fantastic. All right. How about get a headbutt from the Merc? Eh, not quite a one-shot. But enough to where I'm going to go aerial ice to make sure that I hit. All right, Mercules. Looks like I lost. <laughs> Looks like it? You definitely did. Oh no! You make me look like a villain! That's because you are! <laughs> Oops! I have an important mission. If they found out I was messing t uh, wasting time here, they'd make me start over at the lowest uh, ro Team Rocket Grunt. I better leave now. Wait, you weren't already there? <laughs> Jeez, you, you certainly were like that to me. You must be Ethan, correct? That indeed was excellent. It was indeed excellent. Kind and strong. Good at raising Pokemon as well. That person does not know what to look for here, people. Oh, ho, ho. that was just me talking to myself. Never mind. All right. Wonderful. You are so courageous for your age. It's a rare sight to see. I want you to have this. Don't be shy. Take it. HMO3, we get surf. Uh, it lets us swim across the water surface, but we do need this town's gym badge for that. Quite the trainer for your age, indeed. I, sup I was supposed to be the hero. So much for getting close to the kimono girl. Well, then you were never going to. <laughs> Especially with that attitude. Jeez, man. Alright, well... Um, yeah, that'll be it for uh, this episode. Um, like I said, I'm going to be kind of running around, uh, especially with Evie, uh, making sure he gets all the friendship possible. Um, it'll probably be a few days before I record again, uh, just so I can get the, like, haircut brothers uh, to like do some stuff for Evie as well as kind of just leveling him up and kind of doing the Orenberry stuff and that takes a few days for that to happen so that will be that so I wanted to kind of record a couple of videos uh, at the beginning uh, just so I can have uh, an idea of what I, to do for layout and all that so it's it's good to be back to this game, uh, and hopefully without any technical issues, like really bad audio. Again, sorry about that, um, but I guess that made way for this uh, to be a thing, and uh, hopefully no audio issues, because I'm just recording it out of OBS. I'm not actually streaming it, which was part of the problem, so there we go. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you when we come back with Pokemon. Heart gold. See ya.